Welcome everybody, this is Heroes and Brews with Nerdy Dudes. We are your friendly neighborhood bureaus. As always, this man is Kev. Yes. I am... You are uh, Ty. Ty. That's Ty, as always. And we are doing a nerdy trailer review. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. A little late, a tiny bit late, but uh, still Whatever. very impactful of a trailer. Yes. Coming from March. Yeah. From Marvel. And it looks absolutely phenomenal. We're talking about Captain Marvel. Yeah. And she's going to become the savior of the Avengers. So we would presume, right? So we would presume. We I, think. It's sort of how he, he leads you off. Nick Fury was at using the end his of pager. Infinity War. Yeah, yeah, he was pages. Yeah, page. I mean, she did fall into a blockbuster. I That's mean. true. She is. You know, this movie's in the 90s, so maybe she's just like, I just, sorry guys, I don't care maybe what year it is. Maybe she's stuck in the 90s. Yeah. I mean, I wish I was stuck in the 90s. Still, still pager. I, I miss the 90s, man. I do. I wouldn't want a pager. No, 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 no. But I like Blockbuster. I miss, dude, I remember coming home from elementary school on a Friday night, and I was like, yo, I don't know what I'm getting, but we're definitely going to Blockbuster, and that place was Lit. Lit, as the kids lit. say. It was lit Very on Fridays. Lit. I mean... I always got video games. Nintendo 64, I'm like, I want to try that game out. Clay Fighter, probably rented it a thousand and five times. I rent it... Uh, it's weird. When I think back to Blockbuster and what games I rent it, Rampage comes to mind. Rampage, I bought that shit. Yeah, that movie was horseshit. But I didn't see it The yet. game was fun. The Don't. Game was awesome. Don't. I'm going to see it because Dwayne. Anything. But we're not talking about Dwayne. We're talking about Captain Marvel. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. I love the look of it. Like I told you before, I think Marvel's trailer and movie scores are so freaking epic yeah. that just listening to that, I can just close my eyes and just be pumped for whatever they have. It could be stick figures on the screen, but if I had my eyes closed and heard that music, I'm like, I want to see whatever the hell this is. So bad. It looks awesome, dude. Yeah. It looks really, really good. I like how they gave her her, um, her OG suit and her, her nice helmet with the... Also, the suit with the helmet and the, the mohawk, the mohawk. going on—they're dipping into everything. I like it. Which I—I I don't know if they're gonna do it, but I would be really stoked if when she has the costume, you know, that we all know—the the the red, blue, yellow. Yeah. I think right. If she had the cow with the mohawk on it, and like that was like what she wore to like go into battle. Yeah. That'd be that'd be hype. But uh, be I don't know if they'll I don't know if they'll do that. But that'd be really really good, uh, really really cool. What I really do, um, what I like from this trailer though, is that they don't give you anything. Like just say, hey, this is Captain Marvel. She was a kid and she fell. <laughs> and she was a teenager and she fell. And she's an adult. And she fell. She fell as a and kid. She got and as powers. a teenager and then as an adult. She's got some superpowers going on, and you don't know who the villain is, if there's a villain, what's going on. It's it's nice. I like it. I like the guessing game. It's an appropriate trailer. Yeah. It doesn't give too much away. And you know what? Honestly, and I know they won't do this. This was good enough. You release this. We still we don't know what the story is. We don't. You're right. We we, we have no idea who the villain is. Um, I know there's a lot of rumors going around. A lot of people think that Jude Law is actually yeah. going to be the villain. Um, and I know uh, what's his face is in it. Uh, Ronan. Oh, is he? From Guardians. Yeah, dude. Ooh, I didn't yeah. know that. I'm pumped about that. So he's in it. Um, now, and I don't think it was shown in the trailer at all, but I just, there was, Entertainment Weekly, I think, had released some still images. But I think this is an appropriate trailer. It gets you hype. You know, it, it, it shows some scenes. You kind of get a gist, a little bit of, of yeah. her background, sort of, but not really. I'm not giving too, too much away, but it makes you, as a viewer, intrigued. Like, yeah, it makes you curious what's going about what her deal but, is, you know? I don't know. As far as... I mean, I guess at some point you may have to kind of give some hint to what the story is, but to me, I think this was good enough. This was just like, hey, this is this is Captain Marvel. This yeah. is what this film is going to be agree. like, and get ready. And for me, it gets it gets me pumped just seeing what, what they should. That's all I need to see, so too. Because yeah, I would good. rather be surprised, you know? Because some movies and some trailers today just give you everything, and it's like, I don't want to know all this stuff. I think Spider-Man... Um, 
Homecoming. I think it gave away like everything. I think Homecoming like, did a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to know all this stuff. Like, just I don't even need to know who villains are. I want to see them. I just want to see some cool action scenes, some epic music, and I'm set. Yeah, I mean, even if you if you hint to a villain, you know, especially the villain that when it comes to a villain that that most audience members are familiar with, you know, because I don't think Captain Marvel is a real household name as no. far as comic book characters, but. Because Marvel Studios and what they have done have made very minuscule superheroes, you know, well-known names yeah. now, which is really, really awesome. But, I mean, so I wouldn't even know, like, if you were to, like, try to hint to, like, a villain, you know, a, a common villain of Captain Marvel's, honestly, I don't even think Same, I would know. I don't think I would know either. You know, um, but... It's just nice to have our palette expanded with these new characters, like, not really new characters, but giving us a fresh take on all these characters that have always been there but haven't been in the forefront, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's cool. It's it's nice, and I'm excited. I think she looks awesome. I think the movie itself looks awesome. I think they did a great job saying, hey, this is in the 90s, you know, based off it's Nick cool. Fury had not had an eye patch, like the blockbuster thing like I talked about before. I think they did a really good job with that. So it's showing that it's not current state. It's not present. So Do we know why they chose the, the 90s, or it's just... I think it's because they wanted to establish her before bringing her into the next Avengers. I kind of like it. And you know what I, I've heard? And I don't know if this is just rumor mill. Yeah. Uh, but that they kind of want, or they want to, at some point, I guess, after Infinity War, they kind of want to make Captain Marvel the new face. That'd be cool. Of it. Where I think it's Iron Man now, if, if anybody. Yeah. Iron Man, Captain America, but. Have Captain Marvel sort of take over this new group of Avengers? Yeah, Captain Marvel, that's their name. Yeah, which was also Shazam's original I name, know. but then there was some, you know, whatever. But uh, uh, real quick, because I know we're probably running out of time, um, and I lost my train of thought. Oh yes, what I love about this is how you have Captain America, Captain America: The First Avenger. Of course, they show you this period piece, yeah, which I love, and then it ends with him in modern day yes. coming to the Avengers to then go into the Avengers film. So I think it's pretty cool that with her and they're talking about her becoming the yeah. leader. They show her in a period piece, and then of course when she shows up again, it's going to be modern day. I didn't even think of that. Infinity War. I like that. That just gave me the chills a little bit. Pretty cool. Yeah. So like. Kevin, he's Kevin Feige. He's, yeah, so, yeah. he's a freaking, I don't know. He's, he's brilliant, a brilliant man. Brilliant man. I think it's that name, you know, Kevin. Yeah. Kevin. It's a very brilliant ring to it. But let us know your thoughts on the trailer for Captain Marvel. Are you excited? Are you going to go see it when it opens? Are you not going to go see it? Let us know. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And as always, thank you for watching. Cheers. Hey guys, don't forget to use our promo code Antivore Bureaus. It's B E E R O E S. This app Tavor will open up your world to all these different craft beers that you never even knew existed. If you download the app, you may find your next favorite beer that isn't even in your area. It could be from Iowa. It could be from Texas. Hawaii. Who knows? Oh, uh, Hawaii. Check it out. Check it out, guys. Don't be disappointed.